Hello friends, how is everybody doing? Silvio here. Today a short video I just want to tell you about a great, great tobacco. Amphora Kentucky. Today I will smoke this Paul Winslow pipe with the spiral shank. That's why I bought it. It's not my kind of pipe. It's pretty heavy. It has it doesn't have a vulcanite stem. It's the stem is very wide. But it's very good for my collection. So I'm for a Kentucky. I just want to tell you about this one. So many times, so many tobacco, so many blends are not worth the hype. This is a tobacco that not too many people talk about, but it's a fantastic blend. More uh, older I get, more I understand that simple blends with less components and uh, not too much taste, let's say, not a very complex taste, are actually the best. This is one of those tobaccos. Yeah, I bought this Paul Winslow because it has a uh, the shank. It's a spiral, and it reminded me of a uh, Charaton model. A lot of Danish carvers copied Charaton, even Sixth and Iverson. A lot of the Castello, well-known. Uh, models and a lot of uh, Danish carvers uh, designs that we think they have invented are actually very similar to Cheraton. Everybody copied Cheraton. As we all know, in the beginning, Dunhill started making pipes, importing already made balls and they made uh, cut the stems and whatever. But uh, when the uh, Dunhill saw the, the quality of Cheraton pipes, Cheraton is the oldest briar pipe company in England. There are older uh, companies that made cherry wood pipes and uh, Mirsham pipes, but the oldest briar pipe company is Cheraton. And when Dunhill saw the, the quality and the, the work, uh, he stole the master carver from Cheraton and decided to, to make uh, their own uh, bowl and uh, to make the entire pipe in-house. So a lot of Danish original designs, even Sixten Ivarsson, pipes that we think he invented are very similar with the Cheraton pipes. A lot of Castellos, even Shape 55, you can see Cheratons that are uh, almost that. So I like Cheraton a lot. You know, English pipes are my favorite. Yeah, older I get, more and more I prefer very simple blends with less components. This is one of them. It is strong enough. It is satisfying. It has just a little bit of sweetness. Not too much taste that uh, will uh, tire your palate. 
So it's one of those simple blends that you can smoke all day. Yeah, I'm for a Kentucky. This is it for today, guys. I send you all my love.